everyone. Welcome back to Reformers Bookshop for another story time with Sarah. I'm so excited um, for all of you who are joining us live or even if you're watching later. I've got a great book that I'm so keen to read with you today. This book that we're going to read is called And God Said. It's published by 10 Publishing. It's written by Andrew Wilson and illustrated by Rosie Dexter. This is a really exciting book and you better hold on to your seats because we're going to take a quick uh, tour through the whole Bible and we're going to focus on what God says because the whole Bible is all about how what God says is true. You ready? Let's dig in. The story of the Bible could be told like this. In the beginning, God. Everything was shapeless and empty and dark. Then God said, lights! And it happened. And God said, and it happened. And God said, and it happened. And God said, and the earth did, did what he said. And God said, and the animals did. Wow, look at that. You can see a tail of a whale there and a little crab, some bees, tigers, chameleons. What other animals can you see? God just said, and it all happened. And God said, go. This is what he's saying to the people. Go, have children, explore, rule, guard, keep. Have the run of the place. Watch out for one thing. That particular tree brings knowledge of good and evil. And you don't want a piece of that. But otherwise, it's all yours. Enjoy. And the humans did and the snake said, did God really say that? Are you going to let your lives be restricted by what you think he said? Mm. Do you think you'd trust what God said? The humans didn't. And it all went wrong. And God said, and it happened. Look, Adam and Eve, they have to leave the beautiful garden that God created because God said that that would happen, and it did. And God said, and Abraham did, Abraham leaving his family and journeying to the promised land. And God said, and it happened. And God said, and the Israelites didn't. So sometimes they did, but mostly they didn't. They didn't follow him a lot. And God said, and it happened. God said, here's my boy. That's when Jesus is born. I love him. Listen. And the snake said, are you really the son of God? Why not do this then? Ten stones into bread. And Jesus said, it is written. And the snake said, well, what about this over here? Wants Jesus to he com command the angels to protect him. And Jesus said, it is written. And the snake said, or this. And Jesus said, it is written. And the human said, look at all these things they said. They said, who do you think you are? They said, what are you playing at? They said, nobody can do that except God. They said, if you go there, you'll be killed. They said, are you demonized? They said, are you mad? They said, he's blaspheming. They said, no, master, this will never happen to you. And stuff like that. They didn't trust God, what God said. And Jesus said, it is written in the scriptures. And the snake said, 
give it up, miracle boy. And Jesus said, how else will the scriptures, that's God's word, be fulfilled? And the human said, crucify him. And it happened. Silence. And the humans waited. And so did the angels. And so did creation. And so did the snake. Did God really say... And God said, lights. And it happened. See, the light is coming out of the tomb. It's flooding the darkness. And Jesus is alive. That was the story of the Bible in outline. God spoke and made the world. God spoke and gave instruction to Abraham and the prophets in the Old Testament. God spoke and performed great miracles. God spoke and brought forgiveness to those who did wrong to him. God spoke and Jesus rose from the dead. Over and over again, the Bible tells us that the devil tries to trick and deceive and to get rid of God. That's the snake. But God is greater than the devil and God always wins. When God promises, he comes through. When God forgives, he gives completely. When God speaks, it happens. Wow, what a fantastic and exciting book telling you all about when God, about God's word and how when he speaks, it always comes true. So important to remember that so when you go about this weekend or the rest of your week, remember that whatever God has said in his word, it is true and it will be true. Well, thanks for joining me again this week and I'll see you in two weeks' time. Remember, Friday, 1.30. See you then.